Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to extend our previous example and we will try to explore more on the use context hook. Okay, so in this use context hook in the previous video we have written this snippet of code. Very basic, we are passing the count and count is being accessed. Now if you try to inspect this component and see right, we have this provider here. This provider is inside app component and after that we have the child component, right? grandchild and child component. So this provider is providing the values to both the components and what the provider is having this value. So provider can have anything it can be just object string value number or can be a method which you can call from any grandchild component and can update the state of parent component. Currently it is just having username in the grandchild I think we are getting this context in the username because we are using hook right in the grandchild component we are using hook and in that hook we are getting username property as a hello. In child component we are not using any use uh, context hook so we are not getting it but in grandchild component we have written it. We are using hook and we are getting the username property and we are directly accessing it. Okay now I mean this was the simple example now you can actually make this example a little complex so like the state which we are passing with that state can be as complex as you want here we can just say blog and set blog and in this blog information I am passing this object for react and graphql blogs and I am passing this blog object directly to the child component right once this blog info object or blog object is being passed to the child component then how they can access this child is uh, rendering grandchild and grandchild is using use context right through the shared context I got the value so once I receive the value I can actually call I can get all the properties for this blog okay so I can just simply say react blog detail blog detail a it should be blog detail object which I just received and I can actually print all the values post author and all right so we are setting the value somewhere and we are getting the value somewhere right you can render the multiple ch ch child components here is a blog detail grandchild component it can, there can be one another I'll just wrap it inside this and we'll return this Here grandchild 1 you can say grandchild 2. So this is one similarly there can be another component because there can be n number of child components who are going to receive this data from the parent component. So I am sharing it from the app component or oh, app component is having this provider and I put the child as a children component of this parent component app. So whatever you write in the child component here also you can have a child 1, child 2, child 3 all those child components are the candidate to write use context hook and access the shared context because shared context is already shared with the parent component so all child con component can access it they can access the details in from it so you can actually use this context APIs as a store here you can actually manage a big store object at the component level and from any other component that store can be updated I mean you will be calling the set block details also like here I have an on click method here I have just a button on the on click I will be calling this but before that I have to pass it in the context in the context currently what we have is block details so if I pass block and set block so now I'm passing two different properties blog and set blog. So here I will be accessing both the properties. So I got the blog comma set blog. So I can call this set blog method from any child component and will be changing something. This is just an example. You'll be changing something, you'll passing some object, blah blah. This is what you can do. So this context is something which is shared entity among all the components and this is 
this can be a state object of the parent component you are passing it now this state can be triggered directly this state update can be triggered directly set blog right what it is doing it is updating the blog object right so it can do two things you can pass anything you want you can access it that and set block we are passing so we don't need to do again the props drilling from the event you are passing the props dot uh, set block props dot set block in the child component then grandchild component i can directly access set block to from this grandchild one component and i'm able to update the state okay the actual advantage of use context api is with the huge state this we are doing but this is also very minor here we just have a state and some kind of a method you can create a, some kind of a store with this just have an object in the use state hook but the actual advantage with the use reducer where you will actually have a reducer function and your any of your component from any of the component if they are under the shared context they will be able to call or dispatch the action to the reducer function so it will look like you have written the reducer implementation react redux implementation in purely using uh, use context and use reducer function that we will see in the coming videos uh, thanks everyone